Dear Puppy Milton, It seems as though our home has been invaded by this creature called the feline, otherwise called by the humans simply as cat. Let my position be known at this instance that dogs are better than cats on every sense of the term. Dogs are number one. Cats are number two. Dogs win. Cats lose. Dogs rule. Cats don't. Dogs are to Batman as cats are to Robin. Rather insignificant. Every single human that prefers cats over dogs are called weirdos and should be steered clear of. Avoid any cat person by all means. Okay, this lesson started a bit extreme, dear Puppy Milton. We'll probably get a bit of YouTube backlash, but hey, we can't please them all. It may appear as though I'm a bit jealous of the cat, but I assure you I am not. I mean, would I like to be able to jump four feet into the air onto the counter and look at what the humans are eating? Maybe. Would I appreciate not depending on the humans to let me pee? Perhaps. Would I rather be able to poop into a box of sand conveniently located right in the bathroom instead of going outside? Some could agree that would be a bit of a convenience. Would I like to magically balance my body and hop like a ninja from the couch to the desk? No, not really. I don't think that's a must skill to have on a CV. Are you listening to me, dear puppy Milton? Can you please, for the love of the queen, at least pretend that you are not completely infatuated with the kitten? <sighs> okay, alright. I see that you and Kat have become best friends. Your game of bark and chase seems rather amusing. I can see maybe Kat is not as bad as I might or might not have made her out to be. I guess that today, you are the one that might have taught me a valuable lesson, dear Puppy Milton. That as cavaliers, we must stay open-hearted and stay far away from prejudice and misconceptions. I guess if cats and dogs can get along, then anybody in the world can. Thank you for teaching me this lesson, dear Puppy Milton. Love your big sister, Herky.